All right, guys. How are you? So I um, I was driving my mini truck the other day. Actually, before I get into that, hold up for a second. I've got a little bit of a sneak gossip thing for you guys. I bought a turbo kit off Troy, who follows the channel uh, for the mini truck. So it's mostly all there. I've got to buy injectors, uh, ECU, just a few bits and pieces, and then that's good to go. So that's going to be a video that's going to be coming up shortly-ish for sure. Uh, I've just got to wait to get my Rexy back, but I'm also going to uh, buy and fix and flip a few cars uh, to help get content for this channel. So I've found with the automotive shop that I have, which is basically just a funnel in work to get videos for you guys, that it's a little bit hard for me to navigate because people kind of expect me to be here because it's a shop, which is not actually, it's kind of just a sort of a bit of a front for me to get videos. but. So yeah, I'm finding that a little bit hard to navigate. I thought it'd be cool to just be open via appointment. And I'm gonna to keep to do that. So if you want work done your car, don't hesitate, let me know. I'm happy to do it. But um, yeah, I'm just probably not gonna promote for it. I think I'm just gonna focus on my e-commerce and making videos and you know doing the things that I like that make me money and that I can navigate with. Because obviously my e-commerce stuff, you got 24 hours in a day to pack an order. Um, so as long as I'm getting it out for you guys like as quick as I can, then that's not a problem. But yeah, with the car stuff, it's kind of a bit hard. And then people want to wait around and hang around the shop and that, and I'm not really into it, especially if I'm filming. If I'm doing a video, it's a bit awkward to have someone over my shoulder. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I was driving the mini truck the other day. I was I jumped down on the highway and I thought a bird was flying towards the car. And actually it was a truck just went past me and a rock had fallen out of the back of the car and bounced on the road. And then as it come up to when I seen it, when it was a bird. So I swerved because it was heading towards the windscreen and it smashed the mirror. And yeah, it smashed all the glass out the back of the mirror. So unfortunately, uh, I've had to get new mirrors for the mini truck. But the plus side was is they were kind of not very exciting anyway. They were aftermarket chrome mirrors that someone had painted black and they were, the black was peeling off them. They were just looking tacky as. So kind of just forced my hand to go and get this. I didn't think I'd be able to get any genuine mirrors, let alone brand new genuine mirrors. So pretty stoked about that. Uh, it's gonna look really, really good. But yeah, I don't say this enough on the channel, guys, but I sell a huge range of products. So if you guys wanna jump on my website, rcshq.com, um, whether you wanna just jump on there and buy merch or follow links to one of my other websites like RCS Bargain Buys and buy car care products or car accessories, uh, yeah, it all helps. And I'm gonna to continue to build and build more and more products over the years. So. Yeah, if you guys think there's something that I need to have on there, let me know. But yeah, if there is stuff on there that you need, I'd appreciate if you would buy it because it will help me pay the rent. And I like to keep the rent paid so that I can keep the shop open and keep the videos coming out for you guys. Uh, really, really close, super, super close to getting my YouTube channel over the line as far as getting it monetized so that I can make whatever I can off it. I'm not sure whether you actually make money on YouTube really that well, but I'm just out, nearly on that line where I can start making some money. So. If you guys could share, comment, like the videos, all that sort of stuff, I would really, really appreciate it. Guys, I just realized another thing I always forget to plug and uh, never talk about is the fact that I have two other channels. So I used to just have the one channel, but I realized that with the algorithm, you need to split it into different categories. So I've got two other channels. If you jump on my YouTube channel, you'll find the links to the other two, which is where I do fabrication and stuff like the things that you can see next to me. Uh, I like to build things by hand like that. So yeah. If you could, I'd also really, really appreciate it if you jumped on those channels and subscribed to them as well. Anyways, let's get into it.